matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization time of flight, or MALDI-TOF mass spectrometry, is a powerful tool for determining a protein's mass and identity. Mass spectrometers determine a protein's mass by converting sample molecules into gaseous ions. The application of an electrostatic potential enables the spectrometer to measure the ratio of the mass of each ion to its charge. This ratio is known as the mass-to-charge ratio, or m to z. Mass spectrometers employ a wide variety of techniques. However, every mass spectrometer consists of three essential components. The ion source, the mass analyzer, and the detector. Matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization, or MALDI, is a commonly used method for determining a protein's mass. With this technique, the protein or peptide being studied is co-precipitated with a volatile aromatic compound called the matrix. Flashing the prepared sample with a laser pulse at an appropriate wavelength excites and vaporizes the matrix, converting some of the sample into a hot gas. When the vaporized protein molecules collide with one another, charges are transferred from one molecule to another, and the gaseous protein molecules become ionized. The newly formed protein ions then enter the mass analyzer, where they are distinguished on the basis of their mass-to-charge ratios. One commonly used mass analyzer is the time of flight, or TOF analyzer. The TOF analyzer uses an electrostatic potential to accelerate the ions through an elongated chamber called the flight tube. The smaller ions travel faster and arrive at the detector first. Time of flight mass analyzers measure the ion's mass to charge ratio by utilizing this relationship between the ion's mass and its flight time. The clock that measures the ion flight time is triggered by the laser beam that ionizes the sample. The accuracy of MALDI-TOF can be experimentally validated by comparing the measured mass-to-charge ratio with the calculated mass-to-charge ratio for a sample of known proteins. For example, a mixture of the proteins insulin and beta-lactoglobulin produces a unique mass spectrogram. In this mass spectrogram, the peak at 5,733.9 closely correlates with the calculated mass-to-charge value for insulin, and the peak at 18,364 closely correlates with the calculated mass-to-charge value for beta-lactoglobulin. This experiment validates the accuracy of MALDI-TOF mass spectrometry for determining a protein's mass.